Pasquale Barbaro was born into one of Australia's most notorious crime families. And last night, his short life came to an end with a burst of gunfire in Sydney's southwest. The underworld figure was ambushed as he sat in his car at Earlwood. Tonight, police are hunting his killers. They're also on high alert for reprisal attacks. The predictable end to a life of crime. Underworld kingpin Pasquale Barbaro's body sprawled on a footpath, gunned down, execution style. Yeah, my mate's dead. He would give his name only as Marco, and even he conceded his mate's days were numbered. Who do you think would want to do this to him? <laughs> a lot of people. Why would they want to shoot him? This has a lot of enemies. Barbaro was ambushed in his car after paying a visit to the Elwood home of another underworld figure, George Alex. 18 months ago, Alex fronted the Building Royal Commission amid claims he was a standover man. It sounded to me like five gunshots. Neighbours not only heard the shooting... The bang was so loud. One even saw the gunman. There were at least two of them. And he said he saw another two guys with the thing like this and they shot him in the car. Another maybe four guns shots. It was a textbook Sydney hit. The gunman flared in a stolen Audi Q7, which was later abandoned and torched in Concord. Well, there was an explosion and the car was fully lit. For police, the killing is the latest in an underworld war being played out on our streets. This person is well known to police. That's an understatement. The underworld ran through his veins and other members of his family had already paid the price. Grandfather Pasquale Sr was killed in a mafia hit in Brisbane in 1990. Barbaro's cousin, known as Little Pat, was shot dead along with Melbourne crime figure Jason Moran in an ambush in 2003. His uncle, also named Pasquale, was jailed for 30 years after the world's biggest ecstasy bust in 2007. Pasquale survived an attempt on his life a year ago Hamad Assad, who was executed outside his George's Hall home last month, was suspected of being behind the hit. Pasquale Barbaro may have signed his own death warrant when he turned informant for the Crime Commission. Even today, he was the focus of a murder trial. He was recorded in a telephone conversation which was played to the court. No, I don't know any Afghans. I don't know none. Like none, I don't know any. Who are you talking about? Uh, and they started to bridge up. Now it's a voice from the grave. He's had a good heart. Just because he did bad things doesn't make him a bad person. I don't know, I guess things caught up to him. Damien Ryan, 9 News.